Huge crowds of people across Brazil have been spending the day rallying against their president, demanding she be impeached. Yeah, in the country's biggest city, Sao Paulo, about a million demonstrators draped in the national colors of green and yellow marched down the main drag chanting Dilma out. The country's economy has been taking a nosedive and a corruption investigation is rattling Dilma Rousseff's administration. A recent poll puts her approval rating at just 23 percent. This just a few months into her second term. Shasta Darlington is following all this from CNN New York and joins us now. Um, for a while, uh, all of Brazil seemed like a boom town, but I guess the boom is over. Absolutely, Jonathan. And it, it took a while to unravel, but it just seems right now at the end, it, it's really picked up speed. And what we've seen is just four months after President Dilma Rousseff was re-elected by a very narrow margin, uh, things really seem to be falling apart. On the one hand, you've got the economy headed into recession, high inflation, the currency at a 12-year low. And on the other hand, uh, you've got this massive corruption scandal at the state-run oil company uh, with a lot of politicians implicated. So what we, we saw today were just hundreds of thousands of people taking to the streets to demand the impeachment of the president. Uh, and in many cases, even if they didn't want necessarily to go that far, just joining in this protest to show that they're not in agreement with the economic policies, that they want an end to political corruption across all parties in Brazil. And what I think we can say as a result is that with really four years, her whole term left to go, President Dilma Rousseff is going to have a tough time steering this nation and in, in implementing austerity measures that she really needs to implement to get the economy back on track. Yeah, but a lot of this started with the anger over the corruption scandal. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Where does the investigation stand now and how is Rousseff implicated in all this? Absolutely. Well, it started even before the elections uh, when federal investigators went after some former Petrobras executives. And these executives uh, basically decided uh, to, to uh, admit wrongdoing in, in order to face lesser charges themselves. So they allege uh, that construction companies were paying massive bribes to executives at Petrobras, but also to dozens of politicians, most of them in the ruling coalition, to gain really lucrative contracts at Petrobras. Uh, and in the end, we're talking billions of dollars, really large amounts. It, so while the investigation is ongoing, it, this has really tainted politics in general, the main company, and put another drag on the economy. Now, Dilma Rousseff has not been personally implicated. Nobody's saying she was involved in the bribery scheme. The problem is she was the energy minister when much of the alleged corruption took place and therefore also the chairwoman of Petrobras. So people are, a lot of people, uh, more than half of Brazilians, think that she must have known something uh, and that even if she didn't, it, it, she must be incompetent not to have realized that such a uh, corruption on such a massive scale was going on.